one appeared on the tip of my flipper draining, and I don't know exactly what happened. Um, so I'm going to have to go back and watch that, because that was insane to me. All right, so I did nothing in that multi ball. Um, but what I can do real quick is before that those drop targets come back up, because it's a much safer shot to hit without the drop target there. Is uh, I need to hit Sparky now. There we go. And then Grave again. Coffin, lock it in. Damn right. Damn right. And now I guess we'll go for Sparky. Let's go. Let's go. And definitely pay attention to what you have left um, as well. Like, if I had all three of these lit, right, um, like, well, three out of the four, whichever one, and then I went to the instant info here, uh, you can see how many shots you have of each thing left. Like, I have nine snake hits left, I have three coffin hits and four spark hits left to light crank it up. So I'm pretty far away. Uh, so right now starting a multi-ball is a good idea. But let's say I had three out of the four and two snake hits left. I wouldn't want to start a multi-ball if I'm going for crank it up because it's just going to be a waste. I could use that multi-ball later. Um, I could just hit two snake shots going to crank it up now and then use that multi-ball later to be building towards another crank it up. Um, but if, I, I don't want to use a multi-ball to just get two snake hits or two coffin hits or whatever uh, because it's uh, I'm just wasting it after I get crank it up lit I'm not making any progress towards anything oh, within that multi-ball except just points So there, um, I focused that multi-ball on getting to crank it up. Once I got my crank it up lit, that's that's when I collected that super, because uh, that's when it was important. It wasn't important until then. Sorry about the attempted death save. Uh, academic dead fish. That was what was that two hours ago? Wow, have I been playing for two hours? No, I haven't been. But anyway, thank you for the follow. I do appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you every week, Sunday 9 to 11, but also just whenever. <sighs> Very good. I was about to say I'm a fifth of the way there, but I haven't played this crank it up yet, so not even. played battery yet uh battery i don't know the best way to play this because i generally don't but um seems to be just knock the shit out of sparky uh however sparky has a magnet in front of him that likes to throw it down the middle um so i don't really play this mode um unless it's like my last mode i need to go for into the line um Uh, 
because it's just way more dangerous than the other modes. Um, you're not, you're putting yourself in like that. You have to do that and have it right above the hole at the bottom of the blade field um, to score points in this mode. And uh, you kind of want to avoid that if you can. Damn it. I was trying to do a little cheeky bounce in there, and it uh, wasn't happening. Oop. 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 God damn it. Go in there. There we go. What? You'll have to do better than that. Was I? Oh, I wasn't cranking up. <laughs> Alright, cool. Well, we're done. Um. I will say Battery Multiball does have some of the best animations uh, oh, in the yeah. whole game, though. Did I say Battery Multiball? Uh, the Battery Crank It Up has the best animations in the Again. game. Or some of them, anyway. That was a kick -ass shot. I don't know why I shot the coffin there. I just thought it was ready to Watch be hit. Ball. I, I was like, oh, I'll light my coffin light on the Ooh. ramp. There is no coffin light on the ramp, and I know that. a complete waste because I still earned uh, double credit towards the coffin for crank it up. So, you know, didn't suck nice completely. Freaking shot. Amazing. Lady Justice, um, or Liberty Girl as we like to call her, is a uh, it's a mode where you need to hit either, uh, it, it says shoot the ramp. Um, so what it wants you to do is go right ramp, left ramp, right ramp, left ramp. And you, the, if you do a combo, or not even a combo, but as long as you alternate, you're constantly changing that scale and uh, you're putting more and more points on the scale. Um, oh, good, you asked, so I don't feel bad about explaining it. Uh, so every time you hit a shot, you're Play gaining more and more points for doing that. If you shoot the same side of the game, shoot the right ramp twice, then you still get points, but they're lower than they would have been had you hit the left. Um, now the game tells you shoot the ramps, um, which is what you did to get there. Every time you hit a ramp, you spell a letter in Metallica. After you spell out Metallica, you get Lady Justice. Um, the game wants you to shoot the ramps while you're in there. However, the loops on the outside also count for Lady Justice, uh, just the same as the ramps do. Um, so what I like to try to do more so is go right ramp, left loop, because uh, the left loop's a little easier to hit than the left ramp for me personally. Uh, a lot of people are really good with the left ramp and, and just go for it because it's a safer return, uh, which it technically is. But uh, I don't know. I, I, I I'm just really bad at hitting that left ramp for whatever reason. And this this music is, is annoying the hell out of me, so we're gonna dump this ball and go. Nice job. Thanks. Alright. So right now I'm trying to combo the ramps because I just want to get my crank it up progress. And uh that's it. Um, this is a pretty ideal situation to be in with the two ramps locked in and the grave and then have your loops unlit um, If you accidentally hit a loop you're not making a ton of progress towards anything or uh, if you, I, don't, I don't know it's, it's good Although I effed it up like normal Got fifth of the way there and fell apart again You got a match Yay, match! That's what matters. That's what we came here for. I, I, I wrote it wrong on the title. It was supposed to be Road to Match. Um, and we got it, so that's good. So now, I guess the only thing we have left to go for is into the line. So we might as well go for that. Uh, Boom, Dalsol, Spade. Did we play Spade the Black? I don't think I've ever played Creeping Death before. Unless it was the thing I played first, because I wasn't paying attention to what song Amazing. I chose. Oh, and I haven't been updating my game play either. Uh, I think we're at five now?
I believe that's right. Alright. Let's see. So I guess we'll just do the normal thing of... Well, I don't want to loot, so let me hit the ramp. And then Sparky. start or not, so I'm just not going to. We're just going to keep playing. I don't think people like restarting games. I need to have like a, a poll or something I can put in the chat Very to be like, if I'm clearly not getting to info line on a game, do I restart? It's a problem I've had with uh, my other challenges like this. Where it's like, wh like wh where do you draw the line, right? saying like if I don't get to crank it up in uh, Vault 1 restart, I mean you could say that, but then nobody wants to watch the start of a game that many times. So we're just going to play it through. See how? Oh, right now they're both they're both even. I was gonna. If I shoot the right ramp here, or not? Shoot the scoop. Okay. See how my uh, right ramp was just worth. Uh, my left ramp right now, or loop, is worth seven hundred and seventy-five thousand. My right ramp or loop is only worth four hundred and seventy-five thousand. Uh, that's because I just hit the right ramp and it wants me to go to the other side. Uh, and then the points go down if I hit both sides. Or if I hit the same the same side. Well, they go up, but not as much as they would the other way. Points don't go down, you just collect the lower of the two values. Now we get to play our, our uh, last of the Crank It Ups, which is Inner Sandman. Obviously, it's not our last one for this game. It's our first one for this game, but... 
our, our last one as far as things we haven't seen uh, today. Just in case someone just tuned in and got overly excited for no reason. We wouldn't want that here. We wouldn't want any excitement. Ah, God damn it. That was a mistake. I tried to shove it into this post and have it pop out. But what I should have done is moved the game this way and had the ball just—it would have fallen right down in there. Ah, oh, puke! Play again. I didn't even get 50 million. That was it. I'm getting slowly worse and worse. The first game was great. What have I not played yet? Battery? Maybe? Oh! Amazing. I'm changing gameplay right now. I believe that's correct. Damn it! Oh, and it's not coming back either. All right, so that's a that's a no go. All right. What were we playing with that? Um, battery? No, maybe. I don't remember. We're just. Post pass it over and now go for Sparky and fail and drain. Yeah. The Sandman said shoot flashing shot and then had like two, three shots. Oh, I didn't. Uh. Yes, I completely forgot to explain what Sandman was while I was in there. Um, Sandman lights a uh, like three different shots on the play field um, at any time. Um, it can be like one on three of the shots or three on one of Play them. One. And the way you change, uh, the way you collect the lights is just by shooting the shot. However, if you miss the shot and hit any switch, those lights randomize and go somewhere else. So if, you, if they're on the right ramp, they're worth a lot of points if you can hit them. But if you graze the pick target on your way up the ramp, it'll switch those shots. And by the time you hit the switch up top that tells the ramp you hit it, um, it, uh, battery. Um, change this to eight. Uh, by the time the game thinks you hit the ramp, you've already moved your shot off of the ramp. So, it's kind of a risk reward Play kind of one. thing. Um, our pro game with the spinner mod that we have being attached to a pick target is really kind of a bitch because you have to clear out these three first. You have to clear out your grave and your two ramps uh, because if you don't, uh, anytime you hit the loop, uh, the spinner is connected to the pick target, like I said. So those shots just randomize and randomize and randomize and move around the play field like crazy and then when you hit the switch up top that tells you that you hit the loop if by chance uh the lights have ended up back on the loop you hit then you collect them but if not it counts as a miss um which sucks but you know whatever it's it's a mode that i don't play often i generally play the first two crank it ups uh, only, which are Fade to Black and um, For Whom the Bell Tolls, in the reverse order, but but that's the order I play them in. Battery does not seem to be a good awesome. song for me uh, as far as getting making progress. 
Which I do, uh... Oh, yeah. I love oh my god. I do end up thinking that way sometimes. Where, like, oh, battery's not doing me well. I feel like if I count the game as I played it on the on the board, at least I'm being honest about it, you know? Uh, so let's let's play I generally do better playing Seek and Destroy. There's no reason for it for me to think that. It's just like a superstitious thing maybe. Or maybe like my brain is used to listening to this song while playing pinball, so it, it completely ignores it. I don't know what it is. Me feel like comfortable with the game for whatever reason. Which is funny because outside of this game, I never would listen to this song at all. Which goes for most of these songs. I only listen to them while playing Pinwell. The only ones I've, the only Metallica songs I've listened to outside of the Pinball world, just playing this game, would be Inner Sandman and. Um, Whatever the fuck that other one is. Uh, Sad But True. And I've only listened to Sad But True because it was my favorite song to play on here for a while. But otherwise, I'm just not... Just not a Metallica fan. Alright, we gotta do something about this uh, two ball situation that we've got going on here. We gotta... There we go. Now we have three. Alright, I've completely forgotten to do what I need to be doing here, so let's make some progress. And then I need to do that one more time. Extra ball! Oh, what was that? So I'll play Sandman again to kind of show you what I was talking about. Um, if I ever Very freaking good. get to crank it up again, because I seem to do that a lot. It's a fairly easy mode that can be kind of a Electric chair. Cooking up now. Fill the casket. Let's go! Let's go! Don't let that place near me! Preston, you're four shots away from Grave. Why are you going for Sparky again? You just played it. Well, yeah, I also forgot that I just played it. Um, so I've been just mindlessly hitting Sparky. Um, and now I've gotten to the point where I'm close enough to it where I might as well go for it. Um, also, I don't think I was anywhere close to crank it up, so having a three ball multi ball that lasts a little bit longer is not the worst thing that I can do. Let's cook it. See how close I was? Not at all. Okay, good. Although, to be fair, I could just need one more shot for each of those uh, items. Oh. Now I've lit crank it up. 
so we can go for jackpot instead. Smells like five little crazy bastards to me. Uh, the loops in this game count for jackpot, or in this particular multi ball count for jackpot. Um, as well as hitting Sparky, the Ooh. loops are the safer shot, so it's generally what I go for. The super is only a Sparky thing. Uh, if we get the snake and the piston target first, though, we get a fun little call out. But you need to be able to hit the sparky shot in order to get it. There we go. Jack bucket pot. So those are nice. Hey, that's a free game. Sorry if your kid's watching. Take your best shot. Damn right. So, like I said, we're going to play um, Inner Sandman again. Yeah, your other option is to choose to take 5 million points. Uh, don't ever do that. Unless you need 5 million points to win the game in a tournament. There's no reason. Um, okay, so I have my three lights, my Sparky over here, my two, um, my two grave markers on either ramp. If I hit a shot, uh, any any switch counts as not necessarily a miss, but it will randomize the shot. So even in lanes, um, whatever. Oop. Okay. All right. So now the only shot I can reliably hit is the uh, right ramp as far as to get points, but. There, so I hit that, it locked in my snake. Hell yeah. Um, and now that one won't be part of the randomized feature uh, as the uh, crank it up goes on. So now I'm gonna try to ignore that and uh, just get out of crank it up. Because that's not what we're here for. We're not here for points. Nice freaking shot. Cool animations in that mode as well. Nice job. Thank you. Ball two lost. A second ball. Oh. Was that theater of magic? Symbol magic? The first ball is lost. The second ball. Theater. Theater of magic. No. Nice. Job. No. Theater. Maybe it's neither. I know El Monta knows. He's been watching. Or at least he was earlier. I always forget. It's it's the thing I, I say every time a ball is locked in pinball point where it annoys everyone I'm sure but I can't it's just a habit um, but I can never remember what game it's from
What is the line? Yeah. It's, uh... The, the line from the pinball machine I'm trying to think of is, um... In some game, whenever you lie, you lock ball one and two, <clears throat> a guy's voice comes on and he goes, The first ball is locked. And then you like the second one, the second ball is locked. Maybe it's Tails? Is it Tails? Or is it one of the I thought it was one of the magic ones. Um Like Pinball Mag it's not Pinball Magic. Is he a theater of magic? Or now that I'm thinking about it, it could be Tales of the Arabian Nights. Um Oh, you know what? Maybe not. Oh, maybe so. Yeah, I don't. Oh, it's gotta be Tails. Yeah, because it's the, it's the same guy. It's the same voice that does the, like, Sinbad and the Rock. The snake eats your ball. You Figured it out. I think. So, I'm in Seek and Destroy right now, um, just kidding, which is a mode, Special. it's alright, anyway what I was saying was, um, that mode, uh, Seek and Destroy, that I was trying not to get to earlier, but ended up getting to. I didn't explain while I was in it what's going on. Uh, all five of your shots that you locked before. in as you're playing, they're on, and I believe they still count as locked in shots. Uh, all five of them are lit. One of them is flashing, similar to fade to black rules. Um, you hit the one that's flashing, that gives you more points than the ones that aren't flashing. And uh, then after you hit that one, they all go solid and your coffin starts going crazy. Uh, you hit coffin to uh, give you like a, a bigger jackpot. And then one starts flashing again. And you just want to alternate back and forth. There's a timer on that mode uh, that after each shot you take starts counting down. Uh, if you hit any of the five shots, it resets that timer and starts counting down again. Um, and yeah, uh, as you complete shots, that timer gets smaller and smaller and smaller until you're basically just shot coffin shot coffin you have to be hitting one constantly in order to stay in it um, I believe uh, all I know is that timer does get pretty small uh, other than that uh, that's pretty much that mode Hell I don't yeah. remember where we got there oh, what what, uh, what did we end up with 182 that's not bad that's our high score of the day I think so uh, that's a definite 10 we can go ahead and put that in there. 
Um, what do we got? Totan, I think. Oh, my God. Ooh. Yes. Now it's, uh, it's Tails. Awesome. All right, we'll go. We've been going for an hour and a half. That's not that long. We'll go, uh, we'll play just, like, I don't know, two more games or so, and then we'll call it a day for today, and, uh, but we're not giving up. I'll be back, uh, with this game a lot more to the point where you'll be like, oh, he's doing Metallica again. I guess I'll watch it. Because uh, I want to get to the end of the line. Uh, I could just record all my games and then only post the one where I make it, but then you wouldn't be able to see me get upset, which hasn't really happened this time, because I haven't got close enough to get that upset, really. Um, and you'll see how much more difficult Metallica is than the other games I've played, because uh, I've done my like Road 2 series or my challenge uh, my challenges on games that are not that difficult, right? Adam's Family, up good Double Tour. Time. It's hard, but it's not near this hard. Um, Spider-Man getting the superhero. Again, hard, not this hard. So it kind of shows you with the more modern games that kind of pushed that big wizard mode so far out that uh, it's really difficult to get to. ACDC is one that is, I think it's just as hard, if not harder, uh, than Metallica. Uh, actually, I would say it's just as hard as Metallica. Uh, maybe a touch easier because there are more shots in ACDC that uh, just feed back to a flipper. Metallica, most of the shots you want to hit are uh, are dangerous. Um, like in order to get jam multi ball in uh, in ACDC, you just need to hit ramps a lot. And uh, and in Metallica, hitting the ramp doesn't get you anything. It gets you Lady Justice, but that's not worth crap. Um, it wants you to shoot the, the hard shot. Uh, Eight million. That's not a good ball one, but we'll stick with it and just keep, keep going. Uh, the ramps on Metallica aren't going to get you anything. On ACDC, they get you at least um, a multi-ball. I mean, uh, but I don't... I, I don't think in ACDC you can He's use multi-ball to give you progress towards your next song. Whereas Metallica, multi-ball can be used to do pretty much anything except start another multi-ball. Exception, Coffin. Sometimes I fall into that. I just got to t I just got to talking the and, and bash the thinking and completely just mindlessly playing. I don't even know what I was just doing. I think I had Sparky Multiball going and now I'm out of it and I go for Coffin? Oh yeah. Well, he seems very confident about it. So I guess I'll do it. I just shoot flashing shots and I rack up points. Jackpot. That looked cool and intentional, but it was not. That's 
what happens if you get two balls in the right scoop. One just tends to go straight down the middle. Not much you can do about it. For jackpot. got to crank it up yet so we're gonna play uh, battery and then just go for sparky it's dangerous but um, we're not getting the end of the line on this particular game so we're just gonna try to have some fun and look at cool animation So that happens, sorry. <laughs> Seven, seven full games. Let's go! Let's go! Last time I had to build a helmet. Don't let that snake near me. He's fucked now. Ow. Are the non-family friendly callouts a setting on the machine or a custom ROM? They're a setting. Uh, that, that, this is all bog standards from uh, Stern's factory uh, callouts. Um, there is a way to change it to be family friendly where it just bleeps out when uh, it says like a curse word or whatever. Um, the scoop to collect we think it's more fun ball. without it. I we're right. It's you to death. Turbo Graffin, welcome to the stream. Nice having you. And yes, daytime pinball streaming, absolutely. Instead of the, the fast, ball. hard ones, those are the, the, the little slower ones that uh, always give you the uh, a danger. I tried to say that in the best way possible, and it just kind of didn't work. Hell yeah. Awesome. Ooh, that 
I don't know how I got my coffin ready for Tank Adult um, by hitting a ramp. That didn't make sense. But I'm, I must have hit one and then it was a late animation, maybe? That's all I can think because I don't remember hitting coffin at all. Shoot the scoop! Shoot the ramp! The shots you have locked in maybe qualify as coffin hits. If they do, I don't know about it. Uh, I don't believe so. They would have had to have changed that in the code recently. And uh, we haven't updated it recently. So I'm going to say no. Like a hard for sure no. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Hell yeah. All right, ball three, thirty-five billion. We're not doing great. Amazing. Thanks, dude. That makes me feel better. Nice freaking shot. That does make me feel better. Uh, just some random knowledge uh, while we're going here. The uh, the yellow kind of shuriken Metallica logo target. Um, they uh, nice once job. you complete them, they light your mystery. Uh, and the more times you complete them, the lower level mystery you get. Well, I say lower level, it's because the camera pans down. It's technically a higher level mystery that you get. Um, but just in the animation, the higher levels are the lower level. Uh, generally, you just complete them once and then fall in the uh, mystery scoop, but there's a chance to do to get more. that ball. that. Wow, I'm already out of multi-ball. Okay, that was fast. <sighs> Forgot to get my out of ball while I was in there like an idiot. Smash four balls. Start multi
Yeah, okay, let me just do that real quick. So now all I have left for Crank It Up is my uh, coffin hits, which are dangerous, but gotta do it. No way around it. Right, ah. stupid. All right, terrible, yeah, terrible. Yeah. Like the ramps are lit. Fully expect that number to get into the multiple hundreds before uh, over the weeks before I uh, eventually player one get it. But who knows, right? Love that Only takes game. one. Shoot the targets and bash the grave marker. Oh, really? You're gonna do that to me? I thought for sure. I did. Nah, we're gonna twelve that. Counting it, didn't work, we're cutting it out. Uh, and I don't know if we've ridden the lightning yet. We probably have. Hell yeah! Hell yeah. Why am I going for cough or for grave first now? I don't know. I was looking at the grave marker instead of where the ball was. I don't know, like the drop targets came up and for whatever reason just distracted me. Hell yeah. Okay. else. Master of Puppets? I haven't played Master of Puppets. I don't know if I've played it ever. I don't think you have it in you. Oh, just kidding. Yes, I have. 
Well, no, maybe not. Not as like a oh, yeah. bass song. I wonder, because it is the Grave Marker Multi Ball song, right? So, does it just keep playing if I'm playing it and uh, I go into Grave Multi Ball? Or does it reset? Because it, it doesn't know that it's just the same song and you might as well keep playing it. Let's find out. Science! Science is happening. One more shot. Yep, oh, it restarts. Multi ball! Yeah! Yep. It resets. Come on, Lyman. You're better than that. Cool if it like it just knew that you're playing the same song and just kept it going. shouldn't even be that hard to check in the code. You wouldn't think. It wasn't until, uh, I believe Aerosmith, uh, maybe Kiss did it, but I don't think so. Um, I know in Aerosmith, if you are playing a song Hell yeah. and it goes to the next player, and they're playing the same song that you were, the song just continues where you left off. Um. And it's really cool. It's a really neat feature. Damn right. Damn right it is, I know. Uh, I would think it would just add to the uh, kind of experience because I mean that's not like if someone chose that song it's a song they wanted to hear and it also happens to be the theme song to the multi-ball they chose they just wanted to keep on rocking man keep going instead of restarting and then it starts your song over again it's just kind of it feels like it's punishing you for doing something oh that's sick that is sick we'll keep going we'll at least get one crank it up before we walk away That's 15, including resets. I think we'll try to keep uh, player one. Each stream we do, we'll try to keep it in between uh, 10 and 20 games. I would say 10 at the least, 20 at the most. Um, on our way there, um, but we'll try to keep it around 15. So this game should be my last one of the day. Unless I just completely screw it up like that, or like that, or like that, or like that. The code set on the older games doesn't support it, I do believe. Yes, but we're not talking about um, player to player.
talking about within the same ball, um, or, or within the within the same player's game, if you chose the song to begin with, and you play the multi ball that goes with that song, um, because Master of Puppets is the grave marker multi ball song that plays while you're in there. Uh, if it would just continue once you got in that multi ball instead of restarting the exact Player same one. song over, that would be I think that would be better. I don't know how difficult it is. Things are in the coding of these games always yeah. end up being more difficult uh, than they in initially seem like they would be for, um, from talking to Lyman at shows yeah. and, and things like that. Um, everything's a lot more difficult than uh, like checking a box or, or moving some stuff over around. Um, tried it, didn't work. Uh, Alright, we're going to continue this game, and this is just going to be our last one for the day. Uh, it will actually be an episode one of a Road 2 series where I didn't just get it on the first episode, which is great. I like that.
get the notification for it. Um, and that's going to be it. So thank you guys so much again for coming out. I really enjoyed having you, and I will see you again right here uh, fairly soon, should be. Um, and uh, Sunday, we're going to be doing Judge Dredd, uh, which we have not streamed yet on this channel. So thank you guys again. Good night.